what's up guys welcome back to everything wedding thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video as usual we are super excited to have you guys on the channel if you're watching and you're not yet subscribed you might want to consider subscribing to the channel it's totally totally free and also give this video a thumbs up as that helps to grow the channel you can also share this video with your loved ones whoever you know that is having a wedding you can always share this video i'm sure they'll find it useful in one way or another you can also leave me a comment in the comment section let me know which gown for this particular video is your favorite and why so in today's video as we get to enjoy these gorgeous stunning ball gowns we are also going to be sharing with you common wedding contract terms and i know that this video is going to be useful in case you're planning to have a contract with your vendors for your wedding so the first time that you're gonna tackle today uh, on wedding contract term is the retainer retainer is another word for an unrefundable deposit if the fee you pay to reserve a vendor service on the date of your wedding it's typically non-refundable unless your vendor is the one who needs to cancel. So when things were easier, before it got all complicated, oh, oh, oh. just give me the strength to move on, cause I don't really want to move on, I gotta do it. Another term is the liquidated damages. You'll see this term in the clause pertaining to the retainer. It's essentially the legal term for a non-refundable deposit and is used as compensation for booking your event and any work that is done upfront. Another term is the jurisdiction and venue. This term refers to where a lawsuit regarding your contract can take place. If you're having a destination event, your vendors may have jurisdiction in a venue of that location, so you couldn't sue them in your home state. Act of God is another term that you'll be able to find in your wedding contract and an act of God is a subclass of a force majeure event. The phrase is often used to classify events outside of human control or creation such as fire, floods, lightning strikes, earthquakes and hurricanes. An act of God would not include things like labor strikes or government restrictions resulting from a pandemic. We also have the term waiver and waiver addresses lapses in payment just because you miss a payment by accident or your vendor lets you slide on one it doesn't mean you can do that in the future. Another term is severability. This term is used to uphold a contract overall in the event that a certain portion of the contract becomes unforeseeable. That portion of the contract can be nixed or severed without nullifying the contract in its entirety. Say what you wanna say to me now I wanna 
another common term is indemnification you'll see this term in contracts for large-scale events and contracts outside of the wedding world to indemnify defend and hold harmless means you'll compensate for any harm losses or legal ability uh, legal liability that arises from your event guys i hope that you guys are really enjoying the video today in our previous video we had talked about everything you need to know about wedding contracts and we were able to explain you to you guys everything that you need to know about wedding contracts we are also uh, we had also talked about why wedding contracts are important and we also explained to you exactly why those contracts you need to look at them before you sign them and we also talked about how wedding contracts are organized uh, this, uh, the contracts typically broken down into section called clauses we discussed that uh, and the clauses we also discussed them we talked about services provided we talked about travel payment postponement and cancellation and we also talked about termination and a lot of other stuff and uh, guys if you watch that video i know you're gonna find it useful in one way or another and guys thank you so much for watching today's video and i hope that you found this video useful in one way or another and if you're watching and you're not yet subscribed kindly hit the subscribe button do not forget to give this video a thumbs up do not forget to share this video with your loved ones we're always excited to have you guys on the channel as always guys So I'm gonna let you guys finish up the rest of the video and thank you guys so much for watching and I hope that I'll be able to see you guys on the next video.